Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If it worked out, the last video you should have seen from me would have been my pack with me for Wales video. I haven't edited it yet, but I'm hoping it worked out and that's the last video you saw before this one. So I said in that video I was going to Wales obviously and that I would maybe try and vlog it but I wasn't sure what the situation would be. There was some beautiful scenery so I'm going to insert some cutaways of that and also I discovered Welsh cakes. Welsh cakes are wonderful. Although I had, I had been being really quite healthy and like you know when you're like healthy for like a week and you, you know you feel your halo coming and you're just like my body is a temple and I am saint above all. Yeah. Welsh cakes have, have absolutely ended that. They're great Welsh cakes. The world needs Welsh cakes to be more widely available. <laughs> bit scary looking. Just a bit. because I hadn't vlogged a lot but I did have those nice little clips and the lovely rainbow and everything and I wanted to share that. I thought I would put it into a video and I would just tag on some other stuff that I'm doing which is wedding prep because two of my best friends get married on Halloween which is a week on Monday from me filming this. So today we kick off the prep. Well actually I went to a body pump class earlier this week which I could maybe call wedding prep. I hadn't been to the gym in months because basically for most of summer I've been moving between my usual office and our head office so I just cancelled the gym because I was like if I'm not in my normal office I don't go there's no point in paying for it so I just cancelled it but anyway I'm back in my normal office kind of settled have rejoined the gym that was my first class back since basically before summer and I actually thought I was doing fine during class like I, I was feeling quite like, like yeah, yeah I'm not as I'm not as kind of rusty as I thought um, and then after, like, I could barely walk. That was Thursday night. And then, like, yesterday, I was still the same last night. I was, like, hobbling along. My thighs were just, like, showing an almost, like, fuzzy feeling. It was like that. So, anyway, we'll, we'll call the gym class wedding prep, but that was more just, I actually need to start looking after my health again, going to the gym. But, anyway, we'll call that wedding prep. Why not? But today, the fun wedding prep starts, because I'm getting my hair done. So that's why it's not looking great. So I washed it yesterday and just blasted it dry and then I actually went to the cinema last night but there was an alarm and we got evacuated. I was meant to be going to see the new Martin McDonough film and I am absolute Martin McDonough fangirl so like I was not happy to be evacuated. On the plus side we got evacuated it was like literally the trailers had just finished. The film was about to start and we got evacuated. But overall, that's probably better than being evacuated, like, after it had started, you know, that would have probably been another level of, like, absolute, mm -mm. I've been counting the days down to this film, but I'm going to go tonight. Anyway, we got evacuated from the cinema, and I was at Silverburn, if that means anything to anyone who's local to Glasgow, and the evacuation, it was, so it was like the fire exit that we had to go out, because all the main doors got shut, and... Um, and it, it took us out like this like back like industrial entrance and it was absolutely pouring and we had to walk like the whole way around from so uh, this will mean nothing to anyone who's not local but we would parked opposite where the Debenhams entrance obviously before Debenhams shut down and we had to walk like round past the Tesco 
like so there's a big tesco superstore so we had to walk all through that the center is like so it's like an l shape almost so down here this part of the l this is tesco so had to walk all the way from this industrial entrance that was like probably the back of tesco right round down tesco and then like along the whole of silverburn because the entire center in theory according to this alarm had been evacuated but by the time we got down to the MS entrance there was people just wandering out like because the shops were just about closing at that point so it was not the entire centre despite the fact this alarm was like we have an emergency situation please clear the centre anyway point is I get caught in the rain so uh, it, it is a bit rained on um, I need to stop talking because I need to go and I'm sure you all probably are like you're talking nonsense please do stop talking but this is the before so this is my roots I haven't dyed this since July desperately need a cut I have said that a few times but I think we're going to get quite an exciting before and after. That is, that is my, my plan here. So this is the before for my hair. I think my hair actually looks worse when I brush it to be honest. So I'm probably going to regret brushing it. But here it is brushed. As I say, caught in the rain. So not looking its best. But in, in a sense, doesn't that make for the most dramatic before and after? So, so there we go. This is the before. I'm going to go get my hair fixed and I'm so excited. It's a new hairdresser but it's a, it's a girl who does my friend's hair so I'm I'm feeling confident, feeling fine. My hairdresser's actually shut down. If you've been with me for a while you'll know when I started doing my budget I was like I can't afford my hairdresser so I hadn't been, that's why I've been dyeing my hair at home which I think has not been good for it in the long run so much as it's been great for my budget but then I was like this wedding's coming up you know what I'm just going to go back to my old hairdresser just as a one-off because I want my hair done properly before the wedding and then I'll try and find like a more budget friendly person to do my hair and yeah like literally the day that I was going to phone for the appointment they put up on their social media we shut the salon like overnight so that was like the universe was like you're not going back there you can't afford to go back there so I'm trying somewhere new but it's my friend's hairdresser so it's fine I'm feeling okay about it let's go get my hair done okay guys it was raining on the way home from the hairdresser so I didn't take one later that day but it's now a week later and are you ready for the after it's quite dramatic we've gone short not the end of the surprises guys, not the end. I've got a fringe. So yeah, this is the after. So it had been, it desperately needed a lot off of it. So I'm really glad that I got the big chop. Um, and it's not as short as I had kind of thought for. I kind of, I had been thinking about going super short. Um, Cause I was a bit like, well, if I'm gonna have to grow it out, I'm gonna have to grow it out. Uh, but yeah, so this is, this is it, it feels a lot healthier than it did. So I'm, I'm really glad that I've done it. I am, I know some of you will be a bit like, oh my gosh, you've cut all your hair off. Um, I am planning to grow it back. I feel more like me with long hair. I've had, as I say, I've had this for a week now um, and I am quite enjoying it, but I do, I'm somebody who's used to having long hair and I feel that I want my long hair back. Now that I have cut all the dead bits off and you know, I'm going to try and keep it healthy and not home diet again and, you know, take care of it whilst it grows back. Uh, to help with that, I have been influenced. So these vitamins that every influencer under the sun seems to tout at some point in their career. Um, I have purchased them with my own money. So they were on a three for two in Boots, um, but I couldn't get three the same. So I got the first box. Why is this so white? Probably because my hair is throwing it off. Um, so the first box is the original healthy hair vitamins. They're from Hair Burst. I should have possibly said that. So these are the original one. So I've been taking these for a week. I don't, a week's too early to say anything about them really. So this is what these ones look like. And these are like properly like pills. So you know how most of the influencers talk about the gummy ones. So they were out of stock. Um, but this is what these ones look like. So they are like a proper really quite large like a Lensip cold and flow tablet almost so you take two of these a day it was a three for two there was one of this type left and then the other two that I got are the unicorn vegan hair vitamins I haven't tried any of these yet obviously so I'm starting with the original one but the vegan ones look a bit more like the ones you see influencers with so 
they are pink and I think they're they're more like flavoured gummies and whatever. I don't love taking tablets, I mean who loves taking tablets, but I've had no problems taking the original ones for the week that I've been taking them. But yeah, these do look like they're probably going to be slightly easier to take. So I will be taking them for the next three months. So it was, you take two a day and each tub is a 30 day supply. So I basically get three months supply there. So I'll be taking them so I will report back if I think they're good or not. The plan is now to just start growing again. But this is the dramatic reveal. So we've got fringe, we've got short hair. I mean, who even is she? Hey guys, so it is Wednesday. I am just finishing up work and we're going to go get my nails fixed tonight. So I'm very, very excited about that. This one has chipped and these ones are generally just a mess. Very excited. Update on the fringe. So as you can see, it's back at the moment. So what I'm finding, I think I'll really like it when it's longer, which doesn't really help me for Monday. But I think I will like it when it's longer. But what I'm finding is like, so even when I'm putting my hair back to like wash my face at night, because my hair is quite fine, it's kinking. So like, if you look at this now, because it's been back in that hairband. But if I don't put it back, like especially like this morning, it was absolutely miserable. It was so wet. In fact, you know how I was talking in my Wales video about how I kind of want one of the Longchamp totes because my canvas totes are obviously not waterproof. I took a picture this morning of the state of my bag. I'll insert it. I think I need to sort a work bag that's a bit more waterproof. But yeah, back to fringe gate. So I think I'll really like it when it's longer, but I think it just needs a bit more robustness about it, a bit more length, and I shouldn't have gotten her to thin it out. I think that was a mistake. But in the meantime, because we're throwing caution to the wind with this wedding, I have booked to get my face waxed on Friday. Something new. I've had derma planning before, but I'm just gonna go for a full face wax and see how that works. But the reason I'm going to do that is because the salon that I have found that does it specialises in brows. So I've spoken to a girl there and she thinks she can bleach my eyebrows and then dye them red so that they match because I think a big part of the issue is that the fringe is here and it's very, very obvious that my eyebrows are so much cooler. Ever since I was young, like I was blonde when I was a child, but my eyebrows and my body hair in general has always been a different colour. But I don't think it's as noticeable when I don't have the fringe, but I think the fringe just makes it really noticeable. So I think I'm also going to go to MAC today to look at red eyebrow products. So yeah, I'm just finishing up work, gonna put my stuff away and I'll take you with me. Okay, here we go, let's show me look. How cute is the Joe Malone display with all the little like, woodland animals? Hey guys, so I think uh, I was a bit chaotic after work on Wednesday. I was very aware of trying to like get out to get my stuff done. Um, so I got my nails done, as you know. But what I was talking about with my eyebrows. So first of all, I did get my eyebrows done. So they have been neatened up and I think that's made a huge difference. And I also got my face waxed, which I'm very, very pleased with. The hair on my face isn't dark, so it's not something that really it doesn't really bother me it doesn't show up all that much it's more of a textural thing than like a color thing so I don't really I don't do much with it I have um had the derma planning to remove it and I've tried that home razors I did find with the at home razors I got a really bad breakout the last time um as if it was like the regrowth was kind of causing it I don't know though, it could have just been timing as well. I'd need to try it again, but I kind of didn't want to risk trying it again around the wedding. So I went for waxing, 
it's not got every last hair on my face because some of them aren't long enough but it's got the majority of it and I'm really really pleased. It was also just such a pleasure to be waxed again like I know that sounds so bizarre but if you're a regular viewer you'll know I've really been trying to kind of get my budget uh, in place in the last couple of years and one of the things that I have changed is that instead of getting waxed I've been dealing with hair removal at home and like I know for my budget it's definitely the better choice like and obviously my budget has to underpin my life because having my budget is like the highest point of self-care is being financially responsible so although it can feel like I'm depriving myself at times it's ultimately it's self-care in the long run kind of thing so obviously that is more important than getting waxed regularly but like there's just something so satisfying about feeling the hair be like ripped out of your body and um, it is something I really really miss but I was really glad to get it done ahead of this wedding. So I went to the Bold Salon in Glasgow and it was my first time there and I saw Ashley for my waxing and she was just the loveliest person as well. Like it was just, ugh. Do you know when you just meet somebody and you're just like, you just radiate good energy? That's what she was like. Anyway, the girl that's going to be dyeing or bleaching my brows to make them more permanently ginger is called Bobby. But, and this is where I think I was getting a bit chaotic, that is an option and I'm going to look into that, I'm going to try that, but she has ordered the products to do that, but they haven't yet arrived, so I wasn't going to get that done before the wedding, which is why I was going to MAC. So I'm not counting this as breaking my no-buy because I don't have the appropriate products for the job that I need them to do right now, so I am on a replacements only no-buy as far as beauty products are concerned this year, um, so I wouldn't have been going out and just buying an eyebrow pencil when I've got an eyebrow pencil that matches my current eyebrow colour but this is a change so I'm not going to get rid of the other stuff because I feel like if I either when the fringe grows down enough that it covers my eyebrows it probably won't bother me as much or if I grow the fringe out altogether um, I don't think it's quite as bad when my eyebrows and the fringe are not right next to each other um, but I feel like when the fringe is there and eyebrows are there it's just so obvious that they don't match so I felt that really needed to be addressed particularly because of the wedding. So basically I googled and there was a woman in the same position as me who had red hair but brown eyebrows and she was using a product called MAC Girl Boy Brow Gel which they've now discontinued but it was pigmented enough that it was covering the brown rather than just like sometimes I feel if you use something that's a bit too light or whatever it sort of sits in your brows and it's obvious it's not right you know what I mean but she found the MAC product was pigmented enough to sort of bring it all in together so that was why I was going to MAC. So the first thing I got is the MAC Brow Styler in the shade Penny. So I have this already in the shade Lingering. That's what I would use to match my own brows. So I have shown you this product before because it's the same one. I always use spoolie on one end, product on the other. So I am going to use that first. So my eyebrows have got nothing in them at the moment. Okay, so that's me filled this eyebrow in with the Penny Brow Styler. So I'll show you a swatch of Penny. So that is what it looks like swatched. And then this is my old colour lingering. I'll show you that just for a uh, comparisons, scientific comparisons. So that's it there. So you can see this one's much, much warmer and I think that's really what's needed. And I feel like my eyebrow already on camera even looks like it blends better with the hair than this eyebrow just from having the pencil in it but if I come up close the pencil's not obviously covering the existing hairs it's just filling in the gaps so let me even it up and be back with you there we go so I've got pencil in both now this is my good brow everyone's got one this is the good one the second product I got then so this is I think the one that really will pull it together um, this is the Eyebrows Big Boost Fiber Gel and again this is in the shade Penny. So this is what this one looks like. So if I dab that in my hand there that's what it looks like. So it's definitely going to put a bit more warmth through my brows. It should coat the existing hairs. So I've got quite a lot of brows so I'm not, I've never really got into like coloured brow gels. I've never really felt the need to add fiber or anything. I've always just used clear gel to hold it down. Um, when need be so this is very much my first foray into 
this there we go so that is that brow with the pencil and the gel that brow's only got pencil so if i come up close so that one now definitely matches my friend you'll be all kinky because it's been back so i feel like that definitely looks much better next to it i should have maybe just not done one at all so you could see it but yeah i feel like overall that really makes a huge difference um just having my eyebrows brought in to match the warmth a little bit better so that's definitely made me feel much much better about the fringe as i say it's been back so it's not uh, looking it's finest it's got a bit of a bend in it um so i do think it's going to look better when it grows a bit um and when it's a bit thicker but i think that's made a massive massive difference just to have a, the eyebrows tone in that little bit better those are the brow products that i bought and i'm very very pleased with the difference that they have made anyway now that i've done both my brows we, that moves us on to today which is saturday the 29th of october so wedding prep today a i have done my makeup as i am planning to do it for the wedding it might be a bit dangerous because I don't very often do a flick and I'm using my stamps from the quick flick liner so you get like a right and a left white stamp and um, the other end is pen but I found the pen kind of irritates my eyes a little bit the liner because I'm stamping it the side seems to be all right so I use that as a guide and then go over it with my other eyeliner now I don't do eyeliner a lot but my long Mart liner as I was doing it today seems to be giving up the ghost and I'm like today is not the day for you to do this like because I don't have a lot of liners because it's it's not a look I do very often I've got hooded eyes it's a bit of a complicated look to do and um, so obviously being a look that I don't do very often I've decided to do it at a wedding of course I have of course I have um but anyway in terms of prep so as I've done my makeup I've packed it into this. I think I'll do a pack with me video, but I'll do it separately because this video is going to be definitely long enough. I know I've been assigned a colour, etc. because I'm in the bridal party, so my dress for the day is taken care of. I've put my bra that I need to wear with that dress next to that little bean pack with me. But basically, I've not decided what I'm doing with my hair. So one of the things I think I actually like the fringe, I think, better with my hair up than down at the moment. Um, I think it makes it a little bit less like I think it'll blend with my hair down better when it's a bit longer but I think because it is maybe a bit shorter than I would love at the moment I think it might look quite good with a beehive so obviously this is not a real uh, beehive I'm just kind of showing when I'll, I'll go do it in the mirror so I can see what I'm doing then I'll show you what I'm talking about okay so I'm not really sure this actually illustrates my point anymore because I'm just holding it um, but obviously I would do it properly the day of the wedding, it would be pinned and stuff but I'm thinking maybe a beehive because I think when the hair is up it's not as obvious that I think the fringe is a bit too short at the moment for comfort um, so I'm thinking about a much nicer version of that for the wedding however, what I, I feel like see especially because I've got this stripy top on um, I just feel like I look like an absolute like indie kid I, I don't know I should be screaming to die by your side is such a heavenly way to die at the top of my lungs I mean I, I usually am in my head it doesn't love the smiths but yeah I feel like I'm definitely like I feel like the fringe has made it a vibe I mean I was meaning for it to be a bit more you know I mean ugh, like a bit rock and roll like a bit Florence in the machine that's the kind of once my hair is longer I think that'll be better for that um but I thought like if it can be Florence when it's longer like in the meantime it could be kind of French girl chic and I feel like actually it's just a bit more that girl's an indie's indie like which I mean is true to my teenage and I say my teenage years as if that's not still what I listen to like it is what I listen to I just don't really feel that I've ever kind of gone down the full indie vibe before now but I feel like I'm definitely giving it the, the winged liner is probably part of that but the reason I'm doing the winged liner is because I'm thinking when it, if I put my hair in a beehive it'll be like a 60s winged liner not like a going to ABC on a Thursday night 
wing glider even though that was my childhood and very very formative to myself that will probably mean again nothing to anyone who's not from Glasgow but anyway in the meantime I think I'm going to do the beehive the day of the wedding I feel like as well that way it gets it up and I won't be faffing about with it on the day of the wedding but I do need to learn how to style this hair because I I mean it's it's all bright straight but I've never really been somebody who has straight hair I don't think I'm a straight hair person not that it's very straight it's um a bit kinky and wind windswept but what I am finding is I have been really into using this of late which is my GHD Curve the classic one it's the tong um, but this is the same like barrel size the, the full length of the barrel um, so my hair tends to fall quite quickly with this always has done but when my longer hair fell there was usually enough still at the bottom to keep something and when that hair fell with this it turned it like it wasn't curly but it was sort of wavy and like tousled and I liked it but my short hair just when it falls it just ends up like this basically so uh, not loving this now I've not tried it to be fully fair I've not tried it like curling it and pinning it and spraying it and letting it set which is what I'd usually do if I had like a big night out or whatever but Today I'm going to try curling it with this. So this is my old favourite. So the brand is called Diva and this is the 19 to 32 millimetre. So as you can see, bigger at the top, smaller at the bottom. Um, and because it's got that tapering towards the end, if you do it like this, the end of your curl is a bit tighter. So it stops it from falling as much. So I'm going to try this, see how it lasts today. I did have a smaller version of this. I had a, I won't say like maybe a 25 to, I don't I don't know, I'm just totally making up numbers. Um, but instead of the 32 to 19, it, it was like a thinner barrel, but still tapered. Wondering if maybe because I've got shorter hair, if I'll need to replace that. But ideally I would like it if I could just make this work. But I am definitely finding this hair just falls quicker. Like the hairdresser said to me, you might find because it's shorter, like you actually, you can hold volume a bit better because your hair's not the length of your hair isn't pulling it down um but my hair is so fine it just it doesn't really hold styles very very well yeah I'm definitely I'm finding it's falling and then it, it ends up like this which I'm not loving so we're going to try this today I thought I would do it with you because although I said this was Wales and wedding prep this vlog it's just sort of turned into Wales and my hair is actually what this vlog is if we're all being truthful um but yeah let's let's play with this let's give this a go so i'd say one of the other things um is that my hair is definitely when i've washed it it's definitely taken less time to dry etc um but actually styling it i feel like i can choose smaller pieces of hair because it is falling quicker so i'm trying to get those curls as tight as possible so i'm using much smaller pieces of hair than i might have been able to use in one curl when I had longer hair. See what I have as well is I have one of the chopstick stylers like the really really thin ones so I'm going to see how this goes and then that's an option but I feel like that's a very very thin look. I think maybe like the smaller version of this is possibly the thing that will style my hair best at this length but but then my plan is my hair definitely needed a cut and um, there was no two ways about it and I've been kind of interested to see what I would look like with short hair for a while so I thought well do you know what if it needs cut like we'll just do it and that's kind of why I decided to go for the fringe as well I thought well if I'm going to be growing out from a bob or whatever to to having longer hair then I may as well be growing out the fringe at the same time if I put it in and decide I hate it so that was my logic. So I was always intending that I would grow my hair back. I'm not planning to keep it short. I don't know how quickly my hair is going to grow and I bought those hair burst tablets so I'm hoping that will maybe speed it up a little bit. So if I can get away with not having to replace tools that I haven't replaced and I, the reason I didn't replace that one when it broke what I own with my longer hair that was absolutely fine. So I'm not keen to go buying things that I maybe wouldn't use once my hair was long again if it's going to be long enough again to hold even this kind of curl eh, in the very near future kind of thing so that's that's my thought process 
Okay, so that's bottom, bottom row done. That's looking quite promising, but the other curls looked with the GHD also looked quite promising at first and still dropped, so we'll see. Not gonna get too excited too early. With the GHD, because you just clamp the hair in and then it holds it and twists it, with this you have to obviously twist the hair around and hold it. And because when I had longer hair I could hold it at the end and I wasn't, like quite often the tips of my long hair wasn't even wrapping around this. The tips of this hair aren't very much on it and I'm definitely burning my fingers more than usual. What a glove I'm sure when I bought this, but I mean, where it is is uh, anybody's guess. If I'm doing close-ups for like my project pan cutaways and stuff and my fingers are all burnt, this is why. Yeah, it gets easier as I get to the top because the top layers are longer to make them the same length as the bottom layers. That sounds really stupid, but it's definitely right and it makes sense. Uh, so yeah, you get more, more hair to hold with the top layers. I feel quite positive about this, so I think this is going to be what it's kind of looking for. So my, as I said, my hair does fall, so I need to start a little bit Shirley Temple to get to where I want to be. I'm where I'm meant to be. I think this would probably be going better if I was using a mirror and not the viewfinder, but such is life. Okay, this is like much, much curlier to start with than the GHD was, so that's hopefully a much stronger starting place now. Look at that, like an Irish dancing doll. God, can't win, can't win with this here. It is 2.27, um, so I've got my Davines. This is a strong hairspray, according to the bottle. Um, so I'm going to tip my hair upside down, spray this through it. Yeah, I feel like my instinct is usually to just mess my hair about but because this has been falling so quickly I'm really wary of doing that. I don't usually use hairspray but just because of how quickly the shorter hair has been falling just decided to use it. So it's 2.29 and this memory card basically keeps cutting out on me because it's full so what I'm going to do is go import this footage, charge my camera a bit, do a little bit of editing and check in and see what it looks like uh, as it drops out over the day. I feel like that already looks much better than it did. Just to have a bit of texture and life to it. I just... yeah. Better. It's definitely better. So yeah, let's uh, see how it how it lasts. So it is now 4.16 um, so this is what my hair is looking like so I haven't brushed it or and I've tried not to touch it in anything until I'm on camera faffing with it but yeah so this is it's fallen a little bit but it's definitely it's keeping this style um, a lot better than it kept the GHD so I'm really really pleased with that and I did spray the GHD with hairspray as well. I think basically if I kept not touching this I think it would continue to fall because it has definitely sort of settles a little bit which is good because I felt like it was looking quite strange here Um, you know I feel like it, it's blending better now between the fringe and the hair eh, from having fallen a little bit but now that I kind of know that we're a bit safer with this curl I am going to try running my fingers through it and doing what I would usually do with longer hair so we'll see if that makes a mess of it or not. There we go. I mean, it's it's definitely it's falling a lot um, in comparison, but it's not going straight. Mm. Probably wish I hadn't actually done that now. I do. I think I still prefer this side to this side. Uh, right. Let's even them up a little bit. Let me tip my head upside down and shake it about it.
okay that's looking better now that it's it's had my fingers through it and it's been kind of shaken up um yeah I'm getting to grips with it I'm feeling feeling good because this will this will settle quite quickly and um, always kind of has an, a sort of immediate poof after I do that and then it goes down um yeah do you know what I'm I'm getting used to it I'm definitely going to get better with it with time but anyway I feel like this video has now been super long so I think I will end this video here I know this has been a really sort of long rambly video mainly about my hair which feels quite self-indulgent but don't know one of you might also be going through a dramatic cut from short to eh, long to short <laughs> cut from short to long I mean how would you how would you manage to cut it from short to long who knows but yeah yeah I definitely do you know what I definitely feel like tipping it upside down and messing it up. I feel more like me now. I feel like for most of this week I've been feeling like I'm wandering about wearing somebody else's hair on my head. Like, I, I feel like this is starting to feel more like me. So, yeah. I think feeling quite positive now, so we'll just we'll end the video on a positive note. Thank you very much for watching this very long rambling video, and I will see you in my next one. Bye.